Uh, let's open this floor up for questions since we have a short time. How about some young uh, uh, younglings? How, how much time do we have? Uh, we got until uh, 4.45, so a little past that, I know we can probably stretch it the next, I have to be into another panel. So, young lady, why don't you go ahead, you have a question? Hey, you know, I always wanted to be part of a Batman movie or um, a James Bond movie, and I've said recently that I'd love to be part of the new Star Wars movies, and I don't mind if you dress me up as a creature and make funny sounds, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So it's like spot right, where's right, you know? So, I'd like to do that. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna have a long career with Star Trek movies coming up. I'm not sure they'll be calling you a lot. I'd like to be part, yeah, it'd be nice to be part of Star Trek too. You know? so, I grew up sci-fi buff, you know? Not buff, but loving Star Wars, loving Star Trek, Batman, Spider-Man, A-Team, E-Man, you know, Thundercats. Yeah. I think you're one of the one of the popular characters out there. Every character you've done so far has been popular, so I'm sure that the yeah, eyes out there in Hollywood's gonna have their eyes on you. Uh, any young person out here everybody? Go ahead, dude. You got one? Hey, good to see you again. It was Star Wars weekend. He said I met him at Disney World last weekend for Star Wars Weekend. Oh, oh well, cool. It was a fun weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I was gonna do some silly dancing here, but uh, on the stage for us. <laughs> so we dance in, I'm sure we can make room for you. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, once again, if we can't hear you guys in the back of the room, there is a microphone. If you stand up right in front of it at some point, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and choose you, but if you can go ahead and kind of uh, be vocal, I appreciate it. Sir, the red hat, go ahead. Uh, are you still involved with uh, Iron Fist? <laughs> So are you still involved um, with Iron Fist? I'd like to be. Um, it, it's, it's many years have passed now, and um, it'd be nice to see that movie sort of take off and uh, and if they if uh, ever go you know because I was 25 when they approached me to play Danny Rand but uh, it'd be one of those roles where I could really push my physical ability not, not just that snake eyes but you get to see me you know and uh, I get to play a character and also it's it's like it was a comment that my dad liked as well as a kid so when I when I was approached to play Danny I, I just thought oh, the heavens are in my favor yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got too many tattoos on my body now, so I don't know if I'll be able to go show this. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting, out of all the actors I've worked with in the past, Ray has always been one of the most humble. Uh, I mean, he's ultra-talented. I mean, my God, he can run you know, circles around me and anybody else in this room, but you, you never know, and he'd probably push you as being better than him. This is a very, very humble guy. Yes, I'm kissing you, but next question. <laughs> uh, let's go on this side of the room. Anyone over here? Yes? Yeah, man, go ahead. During your role as Darth Maul, were you wearing contact lenses the entire time? And if so, did it ever affect you with any of your acrobatics? Let me repeat that real quick. In your role as Darth Maul, have you ever, uh, did you wear contact lenses? And if so, did it affect your performance as in, in martial arts, doesn't it? Yeah, I wore contact lenses. There was two different, there was two pairs that I had. I had the close-up pair which you pinhole, and um, where if I didn't need to do action and it was the camera was close up on my face, they were the ones I would wear. Um, and basically, you're looking through the smallest hole ever, and all you can see is what's in front. You, I, you, you have no peripheral, and, and there's a glow of yellow. And then the stump pit, the holes are a little bit wider. Um, and it's all, it, I've never worn contact lenses before, but I never let it bother me. It wasn't one of those things where you go, I'm gonna freak out now, I'm gonna complain, I'm gonna say, no, I don't wanna do this. It was just you did it. And you just made it. You know, you made you made it work. And because we rehearsed so much on the fights, my dad always brought me up to practice in a way that you should be able to do in your sleep with your eyes closed. And and yes, I did try a butterfly twist with my eyes closed to see if I was able to. You know, it was one of those. I was a goofy kid. You know, believed everything. Oh, this guy is pink. Oh yeah, this guy is pink. You know, I just loved watching movies, and uh, so it was a challenge in that way, but I didn't let it get to me, just adapt and you get on with it, and being a martial artist, you didn't complain, and it was just part of it. And the same goes for Snake Eyes, is if you think about everything that you're wearing, and what you have to do, you're sort of, def sort of defeating yourself right from, you know, the first, what am I trying to say, like the first moment. And when, once I'm in the suit, it's like you have this glow, and you just, your senses are heightened, and you can't see much out of the mask, but you just, you can. 
you know, you're, you're training falls into place, and all the years of doing basics and martial arts, and it just it just it helps in my character. So you, you can put a bandana around my head and tell me to fight in the dark, and I'll be able to do it in a film. But in real life, I'll be the first person to run out the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we got back here? Right here in the corner, yes, sir. Did you ever have a Scottish accent? Aye, all the time. <laughs> Where about you? I'm from Freedom. Aye, from Glasgow. Uh, Good to meet you. It just, got, it just came from travelling, because you, you sound pretty English to me. Aye, I'm, I'm a jockey now. <laughs> yeah. well, what happened was um, I moved to London when I was seven or eight, and all the girls would run after me and go, Ah, oh, it's so adorable, you know, and then I got beaten up a lot. But, you know, it wasn't just by one or two people, and that was another reason why my dad sent me into martial arts. Because the glass he kissed it, he always well could. And um, so, then that day got me speaking Scottish now. <laughs> martial arts guys in the Jackie Chan movie did all of their own stunts, so I wanted to be that guy. Thanks, man. Uh, back in the room, brown shirt. What, um, what do you do besides martial arts to uh, maintain your physical fitness and you follow any specific diet? I used to when I was a lot younger. You know, I used to be like every hour and a half, take a protein shake, take a carb shake, do this. And then traveling like, to shows like this from London, one suitcase was full of like crates and crates of supplements. It just became a pain after a while, you know, and so I just wanted to eat. And uh, as I got older, I realized that just wanting to eat is a bit of a bad thing, because you get fat, you know. So, um, as I'm, you know, getting older, and I always say, it doesn't make, you know, just because you have a six-pack doesn't mean you're good, you know. So that's my excuse, but um, it's, uh, I like that. you just have to watch what you eat as you get older, and I'm finding, like, soda and stuff like that, you know. Um, and if I'm on a specific roller for, for snake eyes, I really do, because you're training so much anyway, so you need to eat, you can't just starve yourself, it's really, you've really got to be disciplined, and so the supplements in between meals really help with the energy levels, like being in costume, and um, I just find, I find um, like, I really know, the thing I like doing is um, like a steamboat, there's a Chinese way that you have a pot of hot water and you cook your, your food in, and it cooks it like in a couple of seconds, and, and it's, it's a really healthy way of doing it, and you don't get too full. And I find that I can train straight away afterwards. So it just varies. You know? I just like to eat, I only take out, you know, I like Mexican food, Chinese food, <laughs> Thai food, Indian food. It's, the thing is, I like eating so much of it. Philly <laughs> <laughs> cheese sticks. Yeah. Yeah, burgers, yeah. Burgers. 